Hello, welcome to the Paper Snob. This is Tara. Today I'm working on day number four of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, series 16. This is the two-page sketch version of this hop, and I'm super excited to show you this sketch. This sketch was created by Erin Dallas. If I can find her social media links, those will be below. Um, this looks very geometric upon first glance, and um, upon second glance, there's lots of different layering that could be taken from this and made um, into a beautiful layout. And so I have, I only have three photos. Her sketch shows two from what I can see, but I have three photos that I'm going to be using. These are from those groove books that I'm constantly complaining about, but again, these are photos I don't have digital copies of, and they're not on my phone anymore. I have some hip kit supplies. They are, these supplies come from several different kits. Um, these first four sheets of paper, including my background sheets, are from their Kaleidoscope kit. And I'm using the B-sides of both papers because one of them is incredibly ugly. I do not like that piece. It's incredibly ugly, but um, I do, I don't mind the back side. This one's cute. This would be cute to stitch, but I'm going to be using this side. And then I have these light cardstocks. They're um, called, can this one's called Candy Floss, and this is their exclusive cardstock. I'm going to be using the dotted side. I have this piece from Hip Kit, and I don't remember which kit this is from. Happy Days With You is the name of the collection. So I have that piece. And then I have a bunch of It's a New Day um, of embellishments from one of their back-to-school kits. And um, the reason I'm using it is because it has a lot of um, you did this, so excited, etc. on here. And these pictures are from an Awana Awards ceremony that in 2016 when my kids were still doing Awana and they were getting their awards. So I think that the back to school, you did it awesome. Those kinds of words will do really well on this kit. I also have an alpha from It's a New Day. It is a, I'm gonna call it a purpley blue, maybe a dark periwinkle because if you lighten it up here, it looks more periwinkle, but it's a purpley blue. And it's a really fun, small alpha. I really like that. I love many of their alphas. I don't know why these are sitting here. I'm not using those. But I'm going to pause. We're going to get started with this. And let's see how this comes together. I'll be right back. All right. So the first thing I'm going to start doing is I'm going to take this pattern paper here. And I'm pretty sure that I was saving this paper to actually stitch on. I wanted to do the whole background, but honestly, it's like one of the only sheets of paper left in the original kit. So I think it's just time to use it. And I thought it was perfect for the triangles on the left and right hand side of this paper because it's a it's fairly easy to cut down into a six by six piece and then to cut into a, two triangles is just fairly easy. Now I didn't get all of the little slivers off here so I'm trying to get that last little bit of white off and now I'm going to use my trimmer to go ahead and um, cut it down but first I'm going to tape it to my trimmer on one side with washi tape. By the way if you do this make sure that you put the washi tape on your skin or on your leg first because it took off a little bit of the pattern paper because I didn't do that and I absolutely know better I don't know why I didn't so now I'm going to cut the um, purple piece down into a 6 by 12 so that I have two 6 by 6 pieces and I'm going to do that again with this neon yellow piece. And of course, I've got a kitty cat in the way as always. So I took some of the 
pattern paper and I went ahead and used a Spellbinders um, decorative circle die to cut the circles. Now I'm taking a piece of the orange cardstock from Kaleidoscope. I didn't have this at the beginning of the video because I miscalculated. I thought I might use the back of the striped piece for the rectangle squares, but it was really just bringing in another color that didn't go well. The kind of minty green just didn't look great in my opinion. And I didn't think that I could pull out that color from the embellishment, so I decided to bring in the orange since it's in the um, striped paper down on the corners. I'm also kind of just playing around with this. Off camera, when I go to glue things down, I will get my Omnigrid ruler out and I will make sure things are lined up a little bit better so that they match. So this, that's the base, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. I matted two of the photos with some scraps of white cardstock. I thought that that would help them stand out a little bit better on the background because this background is very bright. These photos are very dark because they came from those groove books. And um, I'm gonna use this frame and it's gonna go right on the same tone of pattern paper, which I think is kind of funny because the frames are actually from two from a different collection by hip kit and i think it's great that it matches as well the labels are from freckled fawn and i believe those labels are actually in my october counterfeit kit probably for the yellow i just used because the other colors aren't necessarily in my kit but you know sometimes i like to just throw a whole pack of labels in there and then use what works with my kit and then kind of put them away at the end of the month. Um, if you follow me, you know that I have what I call a label binder and it's where I keep all of my labels. I will pick apart a kit or anything and I will put my labels in that binder because that way they get used and I do dig through that binder quite often. So I have a whole bunch of little leaves that I pulled from a New Day embellishments. Again, this collection, I have mostly embellishments left and I have only one full piece of pattern paper and a scrap. I've used almost all of it, but I have a ton of embellishments left, so it works that I'm able to use a lot of embellishments here on this layout. So I'm titling this, What an Impressive When, and I don't know if you're familiar with the Awana clubs. Awana is run by um, many churches across the nation. We typically have seen them at Baptist churches, but we also, when we go to church on base, the um, ch chapel next, which is their non-denominational service, will have an Awana club. And this just helps kids hide God's word into their heart and I think any time that we can do that and get it in there, it's an, it's an impressive win, in my opinion. So I know that, you know, as I was a leader in Awana for several clubs, I learned a lot of verses, and I have a lot of those verses, you know, in my heart as well, and that's amazing to me. So now I'm just kind of putting some stars on here and some circles, quite a bit of wordy bits. Now the one that says wow that I just placed down, I think it's awesome and I'm gonna move it because I think it'll go better. And I'm gonna put what a memory and I it's actually a play on words because this is a great memory of my kids getting their end of the year certificates but I'm also talking about all of the verses that they memorized. And I don't remember the huge number of verses, but it's a lot of verses that each kid memorizes every year. All right, I got this layout completely done. I'm pretty satisfied with how it came out. This is a very colorful layout and I used quite a bit of these embellishments from this hip kit that I've been trying to bash for a while. I've only got I think one full sheet of paper left and it didn't go with what I was doing here and a piece of scrap plus all of the embellishments and 
outfit that you saw. So to get this many onto this page, I consider a success. And I love that I've told the story about my kids enjoying their Awana clubs. I think this was the last year that we did it. And um, they, they really had a great time. I wanna thank you for coming to my channel today. I really appreciate those of you who take the time to like, comment, and or subscribe. Make sure that you check my description box for this month's playlist and for any information I can find on Erin Dallas, it, that will also be listed down there below. Make sure that you watch some of these other videos because there are some impressive creators on this hop every time we do it. And this month is of course the two page sketches, which is awesome. So I'm gonna be able to get some two page layouts knocked out of my 2016 albums. Although I can foresee doing an awful lot of Christmas ones at the end of the month if I run out of other themes, but for now, I've got a few that I need to do, and so I will leave you with this. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.